Recent declines in Chinook salmon populations have severely impacted fishing communities, cultures, and economies throughout Alaska. We know that the ups and downs in salmon runs can be partially explained by changing ocean conditions as salmon grow. But are Chinook runs also influenced by changing freshwater conditions where they spawn and rear? With Alaska's climate warming twice as fast as the global average, our research team, led by the University of Alaska, set out to understand if Chinook declines are related to climate-driven changes in freshwater habitat. Using long-term data collected by the Alaska Department of Fish and Game and Cook and the Keeper, we investigated how freshwater habitat conditions, such as water temperature and stream flow, varied year to year in Cook Inlet streams supporting 15 different Chinook populations. We estimated the productivity of each population over the period 1980 to 2009. Productivity was defined by how many surviving offspring were produced by each spawning adult. By looking at yearly changes in productivity, we could determine which freshwater conditions were associated with larger or smaller runs. Across the region, salmon were consistently less productive during years with heavy rains in late summer and fall when adult salmon spawn and their eggs incubate in the stream bed. These flooding events can result in incubating salmon eggs being crushed by stream bed gravel or smothered by heavy loads of fine sediment. However, salmon were more productive when they experienced above average summer rainfall as juveniles. Higher stream flows create more habitat overall and allow juvenile salmon to access side channels and floodplain habitats, which can be rich in food resources. Stream temperatures had more variable effects. During hotter than average years, salmon were less productive in many of the warmer lowland rivers in the region and more productive in the colder mountain streams. However, for all Chinook populations, productivity declined significantly when stream temperatures went above 64 degrees Fahrenheit for a week or more during spawning. These findings provide important evidence that climate-driven changes in freshwater habitat do influence the ups and downs of Chinook salmon populations in Alaska, with patterns similar to those observed in the southern part of their range. Specifically, heavy fall rains and hot dry summers likely contributed to recent Chinook declines and Cook Inlet fishery closures. More field research is needed to better understand cumulative impacts of ocean and freshwater conditions on salmon survival to guide management of our valuable fisheries and to give Chinook salmon a fighting chance in a warming world. For more details, check out our open access paper in Global Change Biology.